Hi, I want to take a second and... I know the humming in the background is uh, bothersome to some. Um, but it's there. Uh, years ago, I was working in California. A uh, young woman, I think she was 35 or 36, uh, came to me for a private session. And we sat and talked for a while, and she said, I'm in depression. I am depressed. And she didn't look depressed. She was pretty, you know. And uh, so we talked, and I look, I get curious about things like that. When people are either self-diagnosed or even diagnosed by a professional um, who has had questionable training in what they're doing. Uh, by that, I mean if they have, don't have real-life training. Uh, but I've talked about this before. But this gal and I were talking, she said, you know, I even had a hair analysis done. And the hair analysis shows the tendency towards depression. For then, it, for me, it went chicken or egg. Okay? If she thinks she's depressed, will her system express through things like hair analysis uh, depression? Right? Will it do that? I think the body is capable of that. And I think once she gets out of the depression, um, the body will go back and, and it may still even show that. But that goes back to, well, I saw this is going to be a little jam jumbly. Uh, I went to uh, Hawaii. A man who apparently is no longer on the planet anymore, Randy Chrisman, came to my class, and we argued a lot in the class. Uh, after the class, he came back on Tuesday, night, and he was a delight. He saw the absurdity of his arguments. Uh, he had made up some songs, hadn't picked up his guitar in years, which I hear from a lot of my clients. And I love playing music, and I haven't played in years. I just, I got so busy. And they pick up their instrument of choice, and their life starts to work a little bit better. But uh, Randy came to me a few days later. He was furious with me. Your work doesn't work. It doesn't last. And I'm like, okay. And, you know, the, it's, it's a learning method, so your system learns. But the mind will come in. That illusional world will come back. And it will come in quite forcefully sometimes to, get you, to try to convince you that it is real. But I said, okay, stop, relax, relax. What happened? And he said, well, I went to my, he was a natural healer. I went to my laboratory, and I ran the test that I always ran, and the test was exactly the same as it was before, therefore. And I said, okay, how were you before the test was run? I said, what? I said, how were you before? He said, well, I was happy. I was out there when I saw those results. I said, yeah, you're looking at a test, and you're expecting a result. When the t result comes up, I said, then that absolutely alters who you are. It's not that my work didn't work. It's that you reacted to a test that you believe is true that may, not be, may, may or may not be true. But back to this woman in California. And I said to her, you know, who do you know that's depressed? Who taught you this? She said, oh, that'd be my mom. And I said, okay. So your mom, I said, when did your mom experience her first bout of depression? And she, said, she said, no, it's not that simple. I said, it could be that simple. What are you thinking? She said, well, I'm 36. I said, yeah. She said, my mom talks about learning or becoming depressed at 36. And I said, maybe if you go back and look through the things, uh, if you could do that with the ancestors, it might go back quite a ways. Uh, a lot in the shadow world is learned. It's enculturated. And Maslow says if we can resist our enculturation, we can live a more magnificent life. Uh, if we can notice it and not try to fix it, just notice it and move on, go to where we want to go, not be delving into the problem. Uh, things might work a little easier. Have a fun day. I look forward to talking to you again. www.micpeakperformance.com